At this point of your Python programming career, you're probably very familiar with the random module. And in this video, I want to show you something that really helps with testing. And this is something you will probably use in your future workplace or to make your apps more robust by testing them. And I'm just going to jump right into it. So first we're going to go ahead and import random. And the feature we're going to be talking about today is called random.seed. So I'm going to be explaining what the seed is and why you should use it in certain situations because it does provide us with some very important functionality. So to explain exactly what this seed is, I'm going to go ahead and create a function which is going to print some random numbers. So here we'll type in print random and we'll do for i in range five, we're going to go ahead and print random.random integer. And that's going to be from zero to 100. And we will also define the end, which is going to be an empty space. So we print all of the numbers on one line and we can compare them easily. So let's go ahead and print this to make sure everything works perfectly. If we go here and right click on main and run it, we're going to get five random numbers. And each time we replay this, we're going to get five different random numbers. And this has to do with the seed. Each time you run random, it generates a random seed for us. So we're always going to have different results. Now, if we really want to replicate certain results, we're going to have to go ahead and define a seed. And this can be a string, this can be a number, it has to be something identifiable to the program. And in this situation, we can just go ahead and insert one. And as soon as we define a seed and rerun this program, we're going to get random numbers, of course, but what's going to be very interesting is that if we rerun this, we are always going to get the same random numbers. It doesn't matter if you run this a million times, two million times, you're always going to get the same set of numbers, which ultimately will help you with testing because you can go back and find out which numbers were used and that will help you understand why your program broke at a certain number, for example. So it's good to keep in mind that you can have a seed and, and each time you define a seed, it's always going to generate the same random numbers. And this even counts if you generate 20 numbers or a million numbers, it will always generate the same exact numbers for that seed. And as I mentioned earlier, you can say hello, and that is also a valid seed in Python. But anyways, I thought that was a very important feature worth mentioning in Python. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comment section down below if you have something else that you consider important or something you'd like to share. I would love to hear it and possibly share it with the rest of the channel. But with that being said, as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.